So let's run into one more problem here with the Mitsubishi timing belt. I've had it all back together, all back together twice now, and uh, still have some uh, injection and ignition issues where they just won't fire. And um, as I'm cranking and getting a bad, or the engine light's flashing, so. Looking at the, uh, the, well, Mitsubishi calls it a, a crank angle blade, or the timing wheel, or induction wheel, or how, whatever you like to call it. it. Doesn't look too bad from the side here, but once you take it off, so it's not bad to get off, just, this bolt here, it just requires an impact gun. But once that's off, this does slide off. You can see the distance between the wheel and the sensors. Kind of, I guess it's okay. I thought it'd be actually closer than that. But you take the crank angle blade off and it's a bit bent up. So when the belt fails, your, your blade here can bend up and uh, you won't get a good cranking crank signal. So then you won't get uh, ign ignition or fuel injection. So I ordered a new one and it's kind of hard to find them. Um, there's a part number here, MN119227. And a lot of times it'll be drawn as a different blade with uh, just two sections, but it is actually the, actually the correct blade with a 30, I believe it's 33 teeth. So yeah, if your timing belt does fail, one other pain you have to go through is buying a new blade. Probably, because this one got bent. And I tried to straighten on the car, but it's just not straight enough. You can see, yeah, some teeth are kind of straight, and are bent, and this is a mess. They are right there. <laughs> so obviously, it's not gonna give a good signal. Because it gets, this is straightened from what it was like. It was all mangled. But yeah, I just have the, unless you can stamp this exactly like this, which I doubt it, you have to buy a new blade. The blade itself is only like $12 for the time you get it shipped and all that stuff because it's from Japan. Or from Mitsubishi. It cost me about 50 bucks and took about a week and a half. So another kind of downfall of Mitsubishi, you have to wait for the parts all the time. But anyway, they still have a few left. I'm sure they stopped making these years ago. Uh, Dodge used to make some. Actually, this part number worked in the Dodge or Chrysler system. For I'm assuming for the minivans or some other vehicle. But anyway, they don't have them in their system anymore. At least not here in Canada. So something to watch for if you're doing this repair. Buy one of these ahead of time. If it's not perfect, it'll probably give you a bad signal.